It's an absolute delight to come early in the morning here. Wow, absolutely splendid. Look at the greenery around me. Early in the morning, and I will be taking a lot of my meetings here and I'll first be going for a nice rejuvenating morning walk and I'll be taking all my items from my car. Gift of Lord Balaji, of course. Cannot be, you know. A mind of grace cannot happen just without grace. It's not possible. It's absolutely not possible. I don't believe that grace can ever happen, you know, without the presence of the higher forces. It's not possible. The presence of the higher forces is required and is needed to experience some state of connectedness with life. Otherwise, simply not going to work out. So, I always, wherever I go, no matter which part of the world I am in, I always carry a backpack. No matter, people say, why don't you leave the backpack in the car? No. It allows you to carry some things. It allows you to be in a certain way, the way you desire. It gives you that incredible capacity to also feel nice about what you're doing. A good chair is always a welcome delight. Ah. <laughs> Amazing. So, let me take you for this nice morning walk. Splendid. The enthusiasm levels are at the highest when you are in the morning hours. I heard from someone whom I know and also from interviews that Jeff Bezos takes his most crucial decisions at 10 a.m. because he feels that's the time he's more active. So he wants to engage in the most powerful decision making process when he is very active and his brain is very active. And it's very important for you to also learn and understand and ask yourself, which part of the day are you completely more alive? Most of you, you know, go through a monotonous routine. By the time you see it's nine o'clock and you're late for the office, you tremble because now your boss is going to scream at you. You might you might always be on the threat of losing the job because when you lose the job now who will pay the EMIs so you got yourself into enormous and unconscious traps and why I call them unconscious because you have never ever thought about it just think you know today's youngsters this is what I'm saying especially the youngsters who not got married ask yourself how relevant is marriage in your life how relevant are kids in your life have you ever thought that you're okay taking care of the kids or do you need just kids because someone will be there to take care of you when you grow old and if you think today's children are so idiotic are you are you the person are you do you spend most of the time with your parents just answer these questions and you know when you know your parents are calling you when they are sick how bad you feel this is happening do not subject yourself to the same similar kind of treatment when you are become aware you start functioning in a way where your life happens more joyfully and the problem is when you prioritize your joy the world will call you selfish and when they are doing everything to safeguard their life to torture the children and put their children into education because they will become somebody, otherwise they will be a liability to them. Then they call that an unselfish attitude filled with love. Wow, what a big deception. This biggest forms of deceptions have been going on for a long period of time. And it's time to end this. And the only way to end it is conscious thought process invocation. You got to invoke conscious thoughts in your life. You got to really question things. You got to be aware of what's happening in your life. The other day I was here, you know, you need permission to enter into these places. So I take permission and come into these spaces. 
absolute greenery you know nobody here so somebody was telling me that you know and when i keep posting somebody messages me oh man how do you go to these places all alone don't you have the threat of wild animals there are poisonous snakes man in fact yesterday i'm talking about there is one guard who did not know that you know i come here regularly so he was telling me that uh, who are you and you know there are poisonous snakes here and he was wearing a butu also you know the butu is that bindi you know a uh, religious symbol you know when you pray after that they put one bindi over here a red color kind of a thing then i asked him that and he was also telling me one thing that you come in a bmw you know there'll be 10 people something will happen wild animals are also there wild boars are there what will happen all of these things you know trying to inflict fear then he said it doesn't matter who you are you know if you are alone what will happen i said to him see do you believe in something called grace what is this that you put yeah so beyond you beyond me there is something which is called grace once you are connected to grace you are no longer alone while i am walking what makes see you think only i am walking but i know i am walking with lot and lot of joy and clarity and this comes from grace this comes from the grace of lord balaji I always say jai 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 balaji the power until and unless you get soaked in the power of devotion you will not understand this look at the, for example you know there like sadguru people saw people talk about sadguru jagi vasudev you don't find him you know loitering around here and there in all the temples he has chosen shiva and he follows shiva the path of shiva people who choose one path will progress there is devotion he says there's nothing that he does let us look at another gentleman called as gopal das ji a lot of followers are there for him now if you see gopal das ji you know he talks about grace he says i have surrendered completely surrendered all these people follow the principles of sarva dharma parityaga mam ekam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva pape bhyo moksha kshami cha mam vrata a powerful powerful process spoken by lord krishna to arjuna the one who knows and the one who seeks are always together they always find to oneness because there's a quest to know so it's important to completely you know follow one particular connectivity now what why i'm taking these examples now there are any number of people i know i know i know varun i know shailaja i know uh uh nirupama i know nirukta i know many many names i can i know mohammad i know alfred i know christopher i know mahesh yadav i know Ga i know malesh gaud i know uh, vikram lalwani i know pankaj lalwani <laughs> any number of people i can go saying Uh, any number of people i know uh vinod sharma i know gaurav singh <laughs> you know many no matter what when you follow no all of these names are not famous so these two names i have taken because they are very famous and you will be able to relate with them you can take kartik puvanam for that matter and i connect with lord balaji the higher entity through which you know i connect to the higher forces i connect to the higher grace and that is something very very essential there is something very necessary uh, until and unless you realize the power of higher forces and grace you will never ever be able to witness a very profound state within yourself which will empower you in a phenomenal way Ladies and gentlemen boys and girls our life must purely be defined on the basis of what we think our life to be and when we do that joyfully we will enable ourselves we will encourage ourselves to feel deeply connected into the whole process of life 
and feel vibrant, feel energized and feel refreshed. Now as I'm walking, I'm just enjoying this absolutely serene view. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Have a wonderful time, everyone. May you know the power of grace. May you know the power of joy. Life happened to every one of you. Have a wonderful time.